Fandangles chooses Christmas food. Uh, what? That's stupid. I know it is, but my marshmallows, wow. I think I just short circuited there. So that's a debate for the comment section. I all. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is my first time ever doing something like a first trip. I'm just gonna do a quick vegan UK supermarket and bougie supermarket food haul. So as you may or may not know, I've mentioned it a few times, I have been vegan for coming on four years now. So this will be my third Christmas full vegan and I've been away for all of them. So this is my first one at home. It's gonna be something really special and different as we all know, but thankfully all the vegan, all the vegan supermarkets, all the supermarkets have had plenty of vegan options for my family, my parents and I, to enjoy over this festive period. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I've scoffed a lot of it already, but I can show you what I've got. Let's start with sweet, sweet. So, as you may or may not know, Galaxy released some vegan chocolates earlier this year. This is my favorite, the Cookie Crumble. They do also have a really nice mint one. Those are the slightly newer ones they've released, but they did have, the initial ones were like caramel and hazelnut and I believe a chocolate orange. Oh, they were good too. But this Cookie Crumble, let me tell you, I've eaten a lot of it already, so I'm embarrassed to show you that. And then, Obviously we all know vegan chocolate is becoming more and more common and I could do a complete entire video just on vegan chocolate, but my family have this bizarre affinity for s'mores. Um, it's probably because we spend so much time in America and my sister-in-law is American and we actually had s'mores at my brother and sister-in-law's wedding. Oh, it's really sweet. Anyway, so I don't know if many people know that Bourneville, the Cadbury's dark chocolate is accidentally vegan. Yes, you heard that right. Oh, no way vegan. They don't market it as vegan. Like I believe on the back it says it's suitable, but it's, yeah, it, you can melt this down and basically substitute it in any um, vegan recipe to make it vegan. Do you know what I mean? So what I've done, I've got Bourneville. I've got some really basic plain digestives, some Asda, and Asda always lovely. And I put that on there. Um, and then they had Dandy's Vegan Marshmallows, which I'm yet to try, but they are gelatine free, so they're vegetarian and vegan. Um, I have had the Plant Kitchen ones from Marks and Spencers. Holy moly, they are such good ma ma marshmallows. Wow, I think I just short circuited there. So I'm going to enjoy those on, I think we're doing that on either Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. I'm going to enjoy that with my family. Next up, mince pies. Um, I don't know why I've loved mince pies for only like as an adult basically, so for like the last seven years or so. I love mince pies. Asda, the big ones, obviously Costa do really good ones as well. Um, they're both vegan and gluten free. This is also vegan and gluten free. But my favourites have to be the M&S Plant Kitchen. These are just, oh my gosh, I don't know. Let's, let's get, let me show you. Does anyone else's family do that thing where they like put everything in like Christmas themed Tupperwares and boxes over Christmas? So this is what it looks like. Oh my God, it's darling. And I don't know why, just the pastry's so good and the filling is, oh my gosh. I don't know how they do it, they're delicious. So that's that. Sticking with sweet, we're moving on to what my family will enjoy on Christmas morning. It is a vegan panettone. Can you believe it? I've been waiting years for this, years and years, because even before I was full vegan, I was um, dairy free. And I just, I love panettone so much, but obviously it's a lot of stuff in it. But this one is from M&S and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm also probably gonna do a video about me like tasting it everything I'm talking about here. So vegan panettone, Marks and Spencers, only from the really big Marks and Spencers. I live in central London, so there's lots of those, but hopefully you guys can find it online maybe as well. And now we're going to like the bougie because I am like that as a person. I went to Fortnum and Mason, which is a very posh department store in central London, just by Piccadilly Circus, you might've heard of it. Um, they do a vegan range of Christmas stuff. So they do also, they did a few other bits and bobs, but all I really cared about was a Christmas pudding, which is actually inherently also vegan friendly, nut and alcohol and gluten free as well. But that's fine because you do um, cover it in, uh, cover it in alcohol anyway and set it on fire. I love that for us. 
So I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna do a taste test on that 100%. And then of course, you can't have Christmas pudding without having something cool and sweet with it. Um, now again, don't know if this is because my family is Australian, but we also have, we always have hot pudding with cold custard. And then when we came to the UK, we noticed English people have hot custard. That's a debate for the comment section. I often talk about it with my friends. But of course, I got some Alpro Soya custard. This is from Sainsbury's. You can pretty much get this anywhere actually, because Alpro is literally in every supermarket now, which is like, say magnifique, we love that. But if you don't want to have a spoon in my friend, um, we also found this. I found this at Asda. Again, it was a big Asda because I think the bigger Asdas have just a better selection of free from in general. But this is vegan whipped cream. Boo! Oh God, I'm so excited for this. I should have been putting this on my coffees as well. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. That would be nice. Um, so yeah, vegan whipped cream. Let's see about that then. Actually, since we're in my fridge, um, I also thought I'd just talk about some of my favorite uh, condiments. Uh, Sriracha mayo, love that. Got vegan blue cheese salad dressing. Oh my God, can't be wrong with that. And then of course, everyone loves para peronais. And then the best vegan mayo is inherently this one, which I loved Hellman's when I wasn't vegan, so there's that. And then if you have any sense, you will be putting hot sauce on everything. Cholula, God bless America for introducing me to Cholula. I put it on everything, it's really sad. Let me close my fridge. Moving on to Little Nibblies. I found this again at Asda. It is a 12 piece, like little, um, Finger food, which I don't know why, but my family on Christmas Eve will always have finger food and Prosecco and pretend like we're having a party, even though there's literally like five of us. It is what it is. So I'm going to try that. We've got some little vegetable fritters, duckless spring rolls and katsu wontons. Oh, darling. And of course, I know a lot of people on either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day will have a cheese board. So I went to my local Waitrose and found this, a vegan festive selection. So we've got Applewood cheese, some fake Leicester, red Leicester cheese, Mexican cheese, and a melting mature. Um, and then for some reason, my family have it with these crackers. I don't, I don't know either, but they are vegan and vegetarian friendly. Don't know what's wrong with just like a classic ta water table, table water cracker. Oh, yeah. Whatever. So I'm really excited for this. This is, I'm going to feel like right in there with my family because obviously they've got all their fandangles cheeses. Um, and then for the main event, um, obviously we don't have turkey. My parents might enjoy a gammon because it is literally just the three of us. But my dad very kindly picked this up from Plant Kitchen, the vegan festive wreath. Um, it says it's probably going to feed like 10 people, but let's be honest. Love this for me. Um, I'm really excited to eat this. It says it's uh, with roasted mushrooms, chestnuts, pumpkin seeds and cranberry and orange glaze. I love, I'm one of those. I love cranberry sauce. I love all that stuff. I love mushroomy, chestnutty goodness. So that's going to be delicious. I'm very, very excited for that one. Um, do you know what? I'm in my fridge. Let's just make loads of noise. Um... This is my new favourite rosé, and do you want to know why I love it? Because it has, on the back, it lets you, it, 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 I hate this, it lets you know it's vegan, and it's the Venusol Rosado. I love rosé, and yes, I put ice in it. Oh, I'm sorry, I just, I think it tastes best that way. And then obviously we've got lots of Prosecco, but Prosecco, like, you have to look online to find out if it's, um, vegan but this is my favorite prosecco this one's from waitrose this is also from waitrose so hopefully you guys have a big waitrose near you because that's still a squad just fixing my hat okay and of course you can't have a roast dinner without gravy we got this chicken style gravy from but it's vegan it's free from it's from asta normally we get the bisto one but i just wanted to give this one a go because i think this is more suited to like christmas dinner style and yes we don't do any um of that like blasphemy and put yorkshire puddings or anything but if we did i could make those from scratch vegan could i <laughs> bold claims totally rogue and random and off the radar but sometimes my family also enjoys um mac and cheese at christmas time what that's stupid i know it is but we do um so what i found the actual best vegan mac and cheese 
I half cheat, half don't cheat, but I use this vegan sakala white sauce, which I know is actually probably meant for um, like lasagna, something like that. But this with lots of garlic, lots of onion, some nutritional yeast and shredded cheese, vegan cheese, bizarrely makes like the best, lots of garlic, but yeah, makes the best mac and cheese. And I just, I always, I, yeah, I had to share that. I think that that's pretty much it for um, Christmas food. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a super crazy Christmas this year. I don't really know who, what, when, where, why, how, but I will probably try and take some pictures and videos of me tasting all this stuff. Delicious. Um, but yeah, do keep in touch, follow along on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and do email me because I am also doing my personal training. She says, as she's just shown you loads of delicious vegan food, but everything in moderation. And at Christmas, it's just about having fun, being with your family, enjoying good food, enjoying good times. So I'll be doing that with my panettone. Thank you guys for watching. Ciao for now.